Wait, 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 that's seven letters. Why is he get, why, why do I, why am I stuck with like making six letter characters and this dude just get fucking seven? Damn main character privilege bullshit. Hi. Gameplay recording pause at the end of block scene. Joke's on you, I got OBS. I don't know either! Oh, okay. Wow, I followed the- I, I can't believe I, I'm saying this, but the anime that was fucking boring compared to this, I followed it much more simple compared to this. <laughs> what?! What the fuck is going on?! <laughs> yeah, I guess. Although that is kind of cool. I wonder if, like, depending on your gender, like, they animated it for specific, like, avatars. That actually is. Do you guys think they should have done a female MC for, uh, Persona 5? And I, okay, I'm gonna be honest here. I think for each generation, they like they really tr want to like. Aside from the obvious, they they try to be more like original with their approach. Like with Persona 3, I think with that the fancy with that call, and then with Persona 4, I think it's just uh, they decided, oh, let's just make a fighting game. Persona 5, let's just have a sequel to the original. Oh god, that walking animation. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So this way. Okay, so if I was just relying on just my PS4, I couldn't be able to record most of this shit then. Most of these anime cutscenes are supposed to be blocked. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Okay, so I should probably preface what I watched in the anime. So in the anime, it actually gave uh, like more of this world more kind of an in-depth look. Like we saw people walking around and everything. Like this character was apparently holding stadiums and the main character was walking around like they were just noticing it. And as time went on, the atmosphere began to change, things started to look wrong, and eventually, just everything in this world began to turn on the main character to the point where they had to fight back. Like, and this is just throwing me into like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And then this game comes out before it, but there is no anime. Well, that that sounds like a big load, and not my problem. <laughs> That's more of a you problem than anything. Mobius. Sounds like a big load of not my problem. <laughs> Maybe some money? A lover, I guess? Give me your wallet! Why not? Oh. Does my does my gameplay change depending on what I do here? That lag. I like, cause I don't think so. these <laughs> answers because these answers are different. This isn't like uh, normal JRPG where it's like you know they have like the same answer disguised as like different answers. No, these are like different answers. Like I could just pick I don't want anything or maybe some like. 
You know what? I, just to check, just for the hell of it. Let's see. Maybe some money. Oh, that's important. Capitalism makes the world go round, after all. Wow. If there's... But there's no point to money. What? Wait, so... It doesn't fucking matter, then. Like, I just asked for money, and it was like, Oh, well, that that's not that's not enough. You, you're gonna need more. So you do really look like... What? So what, if you ask for a lover? Oh, that's great, but love doesn't also... <laughs> I'm pretty sure she would say some shit is just like, ah, well, like, uh, I'm sure you'll find your lover someday. It's just, what, what the fuck was the point of that then? Yeah, if someone said, what do you want here, I would say, yeah, I have like a hundred questions. I have a thousand now. I have several questions. The wow, there was no sound effects for that. They couldn't do like a walking animation and her just taking off. These guys, these guys make Team Skull look threatening. <laughs> no, it's Team Yell. Team Yell, that's right. <laughs> yeah, team, team Skull were the gangsters, Team Yell were the fanboys and fangirls. Yeah, you guys make Team Yell look threatening. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. What the fuck? I don't know, just let me fight. Okay, I don't... No, I don't God, what Bunko is this? Bunko what is, is this animation? Oh, that, oh, I don't like that running animation. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa. I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask if Yandere Dev made this game, but that can't be right because it came out. <laughs> also, what the? Also, it's somehow more than it. What the hell is going on? I I I I'm abs I'm not doing a bit. I have absolutely no fucking idea what the hell any of this is. I didn't know you were a game developer. <laughs> this is wacky, man. Yeah, like what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, this art direction is absolutely ass. Like, this is the way to tell him apart. He's got, like, a colorful neck scarf. That's it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, what the fuck? Hang on. What's the name of this game? Hang on. The Caligula Effect Overdose. Yeah, okay. When the hell did this come out? I need to know. It feels like I am on an overdose right now. The Caligula Effect Overdose came out... Oh, you are fucking with me! 2019! What? What? This game came out in 2019. What Man. the actual fuck? Okay. Okay, I, I have to know. What the fuck are the reviews on this? I swear to God, if I hear a 10 out of 10, I'm just slip my throat. 64%. Okay, that's generous. Eight, eight out of ten? What? This is okay. MyGamer.com read this an eight out of ten. St oh, okay. Here we go. Steam seven out of ten. Amazon rated this a four point three out of five. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Four point three out of five. What the? F 
Okay, out of curiosity. Out of curiosity. Uh, no, no, I, wait. My internet doesn't work on this because my Wi-Fi on this fucking PS4 is, is fucking shit. I'm gonna they look this up. sequel? Oh my god. I, I, I gotta see. What is... It's on sale for 17 bucks, and it ends in- it ends December 22nd. That is- this is- what the fuck? Who knows, maybe it's just so Okay, good. so maybe earlier- earlier? Like, earlier I was having a talk about how I love Miles Morales and I really liked it, and then I was- and then people were saying, like, actually, Miles Morales isn't worth 50 bucks. Compared to- like, compared to this- Oh, yeah, this game is- That game is fucking worth 50 bucks. I don't care how short it is. My god. What is- A casual clothes costume set. What? What the f- What the fuck is this DLC? Look worse. <laughs> what the fuck is this DLC? Oh god, this- ひとまずここを何とか切り抜けて俺の仲間がいる場所まで行こう。なるほど。ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ち
Yeah, oh, you're so sad. You're so the whole time. What the? I'll turn all that pain and suffering into your strength. What? Do you feel that your emotions are rolling upside you? I'm feeling a lot of things right now. Rage is currently one of them. I don't know. It looks like clip art. All right. This has to be combat. Oh, damn. That's wow. There's not even like. Okay, this game already had like two cutscenes of animation. This game had two cutscenes of animation to show us the city and whatnot. It had absolutely nothing for the fucking weapons. Fucking persona. F fucking Persona 1 at least had like some level of like fucking 64 bit animation for that shit. What the hell? That's what's in your heart. I don't even know what the fuck is going on! We booted up a random game, and this is what we're being faced with. We have no idea what I gotta tell you, the fucking trailer looked better than this. The trailer looked better than this. Oh, a battle split into three phases, selecting actions, imaginary chain, and executing actions. Catharsis this effect. This is right. Digimon World Next Order out this bitch. Uh, <laughs> wait, Perfect. is that like the, is that what they constitute as stock footage? Like just, I guess you have to choose the guy? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know either. Neither do I. By selecting just, like, a target, the in what? I think they're just telling you everything up front. Okay, so here's like twenty fucking pages of tutorials. Essentially, I <laughs> not for the telling. <laughs> Good lord! Just fucking turn to Haru Susan Mia. You will buy a soft senior ice cream five minutes and thirty six seconds from now. You will drop it on your head five minutes and thirty seven seconds from now. Confirm your action with the X button. Can you we like play the? Can yeah? Can we play the fucking game? <laughs> they just show you the tutorial and then it's like a master. That is. Does this expect to? Is this just gonna throw me into? Th oh, this is just gonna throw me into things. Okay, so I hope you understood the past ten pages of tutorials. Nero, Nero. By the way, why is the uh, why is the uh, video so choppy? That's because I'm recording this on my laptop. Oh, remote oh. play. No, I have a capture card. But I'm also using OBS and Discord at the same time. Oh, that would explain my still working laggy. I mean, honestly, you honestly, no, like how I'm getting like direct image, and that fight animation didn't look good at all. Uh, yeah. Isn't it laggy for me? It was like over in like a second. <laughs> yep. yeah. I can't believe no, I'm gonna this, say this, but Final Fantasy. Like fine art. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but Final Fantasy IX looks better than this. But nothing can top what was known as Bubsy 3D on the PlayStation 1. I'll say a Sonic Adventure DX looks better than this. Yeah. So this makes... So, so this also makes, uh... So, so I'm really on this Bubsy 3D on PlayStation 1. Looked like the free alpha footage of a video game, not the finished product. Are we sure Yandere Dev didn't make this? No, because it was a, no, because it came out. Yeah, there it is. He got the joke. 
Yeah, like I I looked up reviews earlier, and the fact that the fact this not just the fact that this game came out in 2019, but also the fact that like people are rating it 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 4 out of 5. The story and characters are actually for the most cool, interesting, and engaging? What? I don't give a fuck about this guy! What the fuck you mean? And I don't give a fuck about that fucking discount Hatsune Miku character. I'm not even paying attention to the di I'm not paying attention to the dialogue. That's how much I don't give a fuck about it. it they ask me a question of what I think. They don't even bother to give me an option for that. Character in the game doesn't even have a voice. They just have text boxes. Oh, so it's actually Pokemon in Persona. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's insulting because you know why? Because Pokemon, time and time again, has a better tutorial. Yeah, exactly. The game, yeah, some Pokemon games will fucking throw you into no, the midst of things, but at the very least, they start you off easy. This game started me off at a fucking school auditorium. I clicked the text box and it was like, oh god, unnatural things are happening. I'm not kidding. Good lord. Yeah, so it's practically, it's practically heretical to even compare this to Pokemon. Hell, this makes Shin Megami Tensei uh, on the phone look better. Uh, I am not the one who is the metaverse. I am the one who is the metaverse. I am the metaverse. I'm not gonna lie, I'd rather be playing a fucking visual novel instead of this. I'm not gonna lie, I'd rather play, I'd rather play Sonic 06 again for the first time in many years than, than watch this game. At least Sonic 06 is funny, because it fails at every level. Yeah. Exactly. I'll be honest here. I'll be honest here. I'm gonna say this and I know I can't take it back. You know what? I'm gonna be honest here. I know I can't take this back, but I'm gonna be honest here. Jump Force? was a better game than this. Amen. Oh, and that has like characters T-posing into world. It's very ambitious. It's a very ambitious game. It was a high concept piece. Yeah, Jump Force, Everything is problems if you look hard enough. Cut to the cutscene. <laughs> cut to the cutscene of one of the main villains just being slid down on like an animation scale with just like the Y axis being like turned up. Just like in motion, no animation whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest, I never saw that. Uh, um, if you want to see what that would look like, um, I could link you to an Alpha Red video. I, I was about to say, after this, who wants to watch Alpha Red? I play Jump Force so you don't have to. I already played Jump Force, and it wasn't that appealing. Yeah, honestly, I was hyped for it, but only because I got to ride around in Breeze's pod. I have to ask a question. At any point, have they actually said my character's name outside of the beginning? I doubt it. I named my character Mako Mako. 
Yeah, they won't allow you to name character more than six characters. That is stupid. Yeah. Which the fact that there is that many letters, first name Mario, last name Mario, Mario Mario. Wow! A, what the fuck? We stood? We stood outside for the entire time, cut to black, and just go, Alright, this is our hideout. All their money went into those first two cutscenes. All their money went to the first two fucking animated cutscenes, didn't it? People who I would recommend this game to Zero. Zero. Why is Persona at the top? <laughs> I think everyone here at the very you least is a Persona no fan. No way you like Persona. This game came- mind you, this game came out in 2019! Oh. Didn't Persona 5 Royal come out the exact same fucking year? Actually, you know, it came out the year following. It came out March of 2020. I've, what about the, like, the actual, like, the raw release over in Japan? I will look. Like, because I know, like, the original Persona 5 came out in 2016. In the West, it was 2017. I'm just gonna skip through this. There are five October 31st, 2019. Yeah, so it came out because he went when did this come out? March 12, 2019. Good lord. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the anime that was fucking boring around this sh around this game was actual is actually a lot more interesting. Hey, Obsidian. Hi, I was walking on something. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you definitely walked in. I have no idea who the fuck yeah, these characters again, are. I have like no idea. I don't care about the story now. I have no idea who the fuck these characters are. I, I really. And the gameplay is not really that appealing because I got like 30 seconds of gameplay because it decided to spam Wall of Tutorial at me. <laughs> I'll explain. I'll explain in more detail later. You sure you don't want to explain now? You've done a pretty good job of doing that for the past five hours. Okay, I have one. Where? The Caligula effect overdose. Ah, I've heard of it. Yeah. Okay. Came out in 2019, and apparently. This game has. This game came out the same year as Persona 5 Royal in Japan. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I got some reviews here. Let's see here. Uh, Playco.rs says if you would call this a poor man's persona, you would not be far from the truth. But is there really no beauty and poverty? Yeah, this game made us think about stuff way too much. But that does not mean it is a great and fun title. It lacks a bit of polish. That's that's uh, that's that's putting it politely. But still offers plenty of reasons for you to grab a switch and delve into a world of lies, mystery, and moral dilemmas. Oh, and dot dot dot. The Caligula effect. This is from Dark Zero Code UK. The Caligula Effect Overdose could have been so much more. I would have never say no to more games bringing the unique ideas to the Persona formula, but this game doesn't deliver on that and is instead filled with repetitive and undeveloped systems. It can entertain and be fun, but I feel that the Caligula Effect Overdose truly is a game for the serious hardcore fans of the genre like the idea of dot dot dot. And then opnoobs.com a JRPG that will appeal to the fans of the genre with its interesting setting and unique combat system, but it's ultimately marred by tedious battles and dull dialogue. That's 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 perfect. That is the perfect encapsulation 
to how I feel about this fucking game. This game is a is is heretical and should have never been made. God, I, I I can't like, uh, seriously take some time and watch the anime. I guarantee you it will be a lot more interesting than this. Also, I'm gonna say Shogo, that is the worst Pompadour I've ever seen in my life. Like, did, you, did you even fucking try with that name? How does this have? Feel right. Wait, wait. This has fucking. 13 reviews and only three of them are negative six of them are positive six of them are actually positive and four of them oh, oh my god here's one that has fucking nine you want to okay this is bulgarian critic on metacritic he gave it a nine <clears throat> finally found a really good interesting game that i got to play the story and the characters are just amazing I love the moral of the story that they gave and everything about the good guys and the bad guys I loved. They aren't really bad guys or good guys, they're just people with own problems that they need to overcome. I love the idea of me being able to see both sides of the coins playing as one of the enemies that we were fighting like some sort of spy that was freaking awesome. The music was pretty good and the gameplay at the start was pretty amazing. The only part of the game uh, I didn't like was the oh. endless maze-like corridors and the repetitive gameplay yeah. that was- Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on! The gameplay at the start was pretty amazing. The only part I didn't like of it was the repetitive gameplay that was the same the entire time. It was so exhausting Hypocrisy. fighting the- It is so exhausting fighting the same type of enemies on- long ass maze like corridors all the time but the story and characters with their own problems overcame that small hurdle and made this game truly amazing and unforgettable experience that i wish i could for <laughs> oh, hold on uh, the, 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 but the great story and characters with their own problems overcame that small hurdle and made this game a truly amazing and unforgettable experience that I wish I could forget and play again. <laughs> this game. Oh my fucking god! I I haven't even read this. Uh, like this is Yigglesio on a critic. Give it a six. The ending is so yeah. If you've been itching to play Persona but have either not been able to or have already played them a couple times, this might help scratch that itch. I doubt it. Seriously, the art direction fucking sucks. This is all this guy has got on in terms of being a supporting cast member is like a black and colored shirt. Sion, I, I want you to take a look at this. There's names I got there. Is that Swedish? Would, as a Persona fan, would you play this game? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, if you're confused about what's going on, congratulations, we just met these people, and it's just in the it's the start of the game. So to reiterate what I just went through, I named my character Mako Mako, I picked a girl, I had to give a school assembly where I picked one option, People started putting on like fucking black masks. We got two animated cutscenes and a fuck ton of dialogue and 30 seconds of actual gameplay with with a entire wall of tutorial. And now we're here. Now we're here. <laughs> this makes Shin Megami Tensei 5 look like an actual playable game. You know what? I, I I honestly have to take back what I said before. I think Yandere Simulator is much better than this. <laughs> is it though? Is it finished? <laughs> Okay, okay, Scion? Guess? Try to guess when this came out. Actual. 
The Caligula Effect yeah. Overdose. Without looking up, try guess. You can guess the consoles, guess the year as well. Okay, uh, 2017? Um, I don't fucking know. Actually, 2019! 2019. 2019. And this came out March 12th, 2019, the exact same year as Persona 5 Royal. It's really Persona Japan. And people it's have really rated... Weird. The PS4. The PS4 version came out in 2018 in Japan. But like, that's what got. God damn, that's 50 what got. bucks for this? I, I think, didn't Persona 5 Scramble the Phantom yeah, Strikers come out that exact same year too? I think it was 2019 in Japan, yeah. Mm hmm. Like, the Strikers no, was the year, like, been came out so a year after. Better. But nope. Possibly. Uh, apparently, it was originally a Vita game and this was a remake of it, but I don't know like how much of a remake of it is, or if it's just like an updated re release. This is a Vita content. game? It was a Vita game, apparently. Yeah, like the original one came out on that. Then a few years later, it got. It says remake, but I'm not sure if it's like remake in the sense of like all the assets. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I just, just came across the, the fandom wiki page for this. The first paragraph. The first paragraph says Caligula Overdose was announced alongside the anime adaptation of the Caligula Effect as a remake of said game. Overdose features drastically upgraded visuals and processing with the Unreal Engine 4 and PlayStation 4 compatibility, and around about two times the volume of the original scenario. Oh, Unreal Engine 4? Oh, that, that's sad. Yeah, it that is. is I mean, very sad. I mean, it is a versatile engine, so that's not that's to be expected, I suppose. But, you know, it's not, this isn't really exactly the cutting edge of what it can do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> My God. Again, who, knows, who, knows what, who knows what the budget was for this? If it's a remake, if it's a tie-in thing and a remake of a fucking... I'm like I I I, I'm, I was just saying this earlier. I hope this is like an indie title over in Japan or something. I I was trying. I look. I I saw this on PS Plus. I was like, I looked at the trailer. I was like, all right, you know what? This actually looks kind of fun. I'll give it a shot. And I was more than willing to give it a shot. When I first came in, it said, "Please name your character." You only have six characters for the first and last name. So I named her Mako Mako. Uh, uh, and I'm just and, gonna say this. I'm looking at it, and the team the team that worked on Overdose in particular don't even have a Wikipedia page. So, oh no. so this not, is not the most high profile no. team. So not the most high profile team is what I'm thinking. Wow. There's a team called Historia. If that name rings any bells. I no. never heard of Historia before. I I, I will say, look up that no, hang on. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Studio Historia, yeah, just it's like just his store. Like, Studio Historia. Historia. Yeah. Okay. Historia what? game devs. Alright, what well, have you worked on? Historia. Historia Inc. Historia. Uh, they worked on. Oh, they worked on. They worked on the Live Alive remake for the Switch and that. That, that huh. doesn't. Seeing this, this that doesn't fill me with much hope. Space Penguin. That remake is great. What, that remake is great. What the fuck? Is... Yeah, that remake is fucking great. Oh, you know what? I think they may have. Oh, I know that may have just been they helped out with it. It's the same developed, but I think that was done by like Team Asano or Square Enix, so they could have just been a support. Yeah. For that. Okay, well, let's see. That I'm willing there to other ones, oh, wait, wait, wait. There are other ones. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Other ones are a game called Air Tone, presumably helping with Dragon Quest XI. This game, uh, jo that JoJo Battle Royale game for arcades, and Caligula Effect. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is published by Atlas. What? Yeah. What? I went I went to the publisher the sides. Hell? And for the PS Vita. Okay, so oh oh okay, wait, wait, wait. The original game is published by Atlas USA. The this game, Overdose, is published by NIS America. For some reason, then specifically. Yeah, okay. Okay, so Aquaria the original the original creators Aquaria. They do have their wiki page? Yeah, you're right. Historia doesn't have one. 
And I can't find shit about them. Yeah, like the there's a game there's a Gamatsu page that has like the games that they've at least worked on, but it doesn't really like go into much detail. You know, I would rather be playing instead of this. I would rather, I would rather be playing Grand Theft Auto the Definitive Edition. So sad. So no, I think that's okay. I think that's okay now at this point. I play Devil's Advocate a lot with fiction, and look, I don't need my games to look like the next fucking Tales of Arise, alright? I don't need it. Hell, one of my favorite RPGs is. I would say for Sisteria. I, one of my favorite RPGs is Black Rock Shooter the Game, and that's a PSP title, and it looks much more fucking low res than this. But at the same time, it's a better game. It's a better game in terms of like how it handles its story, its characters, and just gameplay. Okay, to be fair, the acting, like, is actually alright. Like, okay, I, I, I won't, I, I won't, okay, I'll, I'll give it this, the actors and actresses are giving their all, it's, it's not, I'm not putting this on them, but, dear god, like, this, this game needed, I fucking, this game needed more time in the oven. This is this is the prologue. This is like the prologue. It, okay, comparing this to like really cool star off. Comparing this to like okay okay. Let's say all right. Comparing this to Persona Four. It was a really great game. Okay okay. Let's compare this to like. Pretty much all cuts. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's compare this to Persona 4. Where I would be necessary where I would be in Persona 4 is the dream sequence, like when you first or not even the dream sequence, like just like the gas station when you first get into Inaba. That's where I would be at this point in time in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like Maybe, maybe. Maybe, like. Yeah. But, like. But here's the thing. Like, in terms of the game, I've already gone through the Midnight Channel. I've already gone to the TV and awakened my persona in this game's, like, standpoint. Like, this game has rushed through so much. And what the fuck was that animation? <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to, you're trying, you're trying to look at the 
ちを閉じ込めるようになっちゃって、目の力が大きくなるにつれて。The ball of energy just, like, someone just literally took their mouse, clicked it, and then just moved it to the left. Oh my god! That's what they did! Oh my god, it reminds me so much. This is reminding me so much of that fucking Dragon Ball. Ball. Yep. That was freaking funny. This reminds me so much of the fucking Dragon Ball Z Kakarot moment where it's like Krillin fucking shot uh, Vegeta on Namek and he just goes flying. Ah! <laughs> 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 I, I haven't. I, 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 I haven't been paying attention at all to this fucking story because like this, this. <laughs> Okay. At least like with Fighter Story. That and also the fact that it. And also the fact that at the beginning I understood what the fuck was going on. And the tutorial, the tutorial like let me play through it step by step. In this, the tutorial was here's everything about the combat. Now go. Have fun. Again, for sort of comparison, it starts off with a basic attack, then introduces elemental skills, blocking, different characters. You know, it's gradual with it. I. That's where you should do something. There we go. You're all done. Sorry if that Paul Paul is here. Paul your mates, by the way. That's fine. I guess they're all cool. Oh my god, I thought this was one room. Kirena曲。これは超ハイレベル。洗脳されているデジヘッドは学習曲。子供は。誰かがデジヘッドを消しかけて。Okay, I'm sorry. I know, I know, like, I, look, I don't want to compare this to other RPGs or anything, but dear God, like, aside from, like, the outfits, dear God, the fucking hairstyles, not just the hairstyles, the hair color is so fucking muted. I mean, I was thinking he also looks like I was thinking he looks like Huber from Fire Emblem, but that works too. Oh! Not the guy with like the turn glasses. The guy with like. Uh, the I had thirty sec. I had thirty seconds max of gameplay. I haven't even gotten the chance to walk around. This is the best game. This is the greatest thing since I am bred. I'm just. Now you can move around. Oh, I can't wait to do that. Oh, that fucking more talking. Fucking no. Fucking fucking king from the ass. Thirty-one, thirty-two. Oh god, this like this fucking. The way this game fucking controls just reminds me so much of actual Yandere Simulator. What the hell? How's the cam? How's like the camera in the frame rate? Well, on my end, it's like it's yeah, very. It well, probably on your end is very choppy, but on like my end, on like my computer, it's like there's a lot of motion blur. Yeah, I, can, oh, you know, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was just a stream, but but we can we can uh, I can see that on my end. Okay. Uh, what the? Maybe that's something you can change in the settings. I I'm looking for this. Um. Uh, There's no motion for thing. 
That's not that's good. Just, I don't... It's not medium. Wait, 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 hold on. I think that's probably just, probably just like how fast it takes. Okay. Imagine yeah. like, you know, every lane I die a lot of Yeah, so... Uh, like, unless, like, there's, like, more in... No, that's, that's it. That's literally it. Uh, Those are maybe all if you go settings? to the title that screen? Is atrocious. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you had to go to the title screen to turn it. Some, some games can be kind of stupid about that, so... It's possible. I... Sure, I don't care. At least let me do something. Mako Mako Go Home Club. See how much time is back. I wonder how long. Hang on. Buddy. It's been a. Fu it's almost a fucking hour. It's been. It's been one week. Fifty-five minutes. Fifty-five minutes. Thirty-four megabytes. Arcs? No. Arxis. Fuck you. No fucking way. Arcsis works. No. No. no fucking way. Arcsis no. was in this. No. Damn, this is the best game since Left Alive. Arcsis. You came out with fighters. And not only that, you came out with. You were working on Strive. And also, I, Grand I Blue, I think? What... Grand Blue Fantasy! Yeah, fucking yeah, cross-tag yeah. battle! Guys, there's, there's no options on this. There's, oh, there's no kidding. options on this! I feel like permanent. screaming out like Donovan. You know what? Fuck it! Jojo Part 2. I, I don't care. No, no, why would you do that? I, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit shortly after this, but I want them to see what the hell I had to go through. Oh boy. You're gonna see. I, I want you to watch what the hell I had to do. And, alright, so. Let's just go. Because I've already seen, like, what happens for the girls. Yeah, out of six characters, your first name. Let's see. Let's just go. Gems. No, no, no. <laughs> Mario, enter up to six characters for your last name. Mario. Your name is Mario Mario. You cannot wow. change this later. <laughs> yes, I don't give a fuck. Why would I want to change that? Exact same time. Yeah, because this is an atrocity against all gamers. I just realized their mouse don't move. Yeah, you just noticed that? Yeah, I've played Xenoblade 3, I don't want to be a part of that, of that group of these messes. <laughs> I just noticed that. Their mouse don't move, that's not like a trigger thing. No, on my screen, their mouse are not fucking moving. Oh, I'm gonna hurt Xenoblade, let's go. I, like, I kind of, I, at first I was kind of willing to forgive it because I thought, oh, that's like, you know, a whole thing with a vocal loiter or anything. But no, every character's mouth in this doesn't move. Persona 2 wasn't exactly a massive budget game and it was PS2, so that's not really helping this game's case, but still. <laughs> Amazing, no. amazing experience. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What should I pick? Anyway, how is anyone? Alright, let's hear what anyway, the protagonist cool, has to say about the new students. Each of them. It's Mario, so he's probably saying... Okay, so... <laughs> before, when it was the female protagonist, it, it was definitely the... It was definitely animated for the female characters. Okay. So, yeah, depending on the gender role, it changes. But, yeah, this literally happens. I... Yeah, I kind of thought... I, I, I was kind of thinking, you know, maybe there was a possibility. No! No! <laughs> 
Okay, fucking, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment was allowed allowed you to do that. Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment allowed you to customize your characters, and every cutscene had Kirito. Oh. <laughs> I still love the abridged version. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Abridged, abridged Kirito is best Kirito. Alright, yeah, so I now we get to it. actually play the game. The round. gameplay actually finally recorded. Now I get to play the game! <laughs> oh, game quotation. More like Passing where we just came in. Yeah. You were literally just here. Same animation there. Yeah. Wasn't wasn't that great? Oh. Wait, wait. Anime. What happened to the anime? There was an anime cutscene. Yeah, there was supposed to be an animated cutscene. I didn't press anything. No. So that I mean they only animated that scene for the female character. Yeah. No, I, I didn't press anything. Maybe it glitched and skipped it by accident. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Here. I mean, it could have. I mean, do you really want to go through the five minute introduction sequence again? Just to find out that answer? Butch, you, I need your stand really quick. Or someone just fucking speak us up. Oh yeah, like, uh, this is like, what, medium speed for dialogue boxes? God, that animation. Oh, the motion yeah. blur. Ugh. Yeah, and like, motion blur is atrocious. Oi, I, I disable it for every game. Even the right. Spider-Man. Yeah, like... <laughs> it's goddamn. Yeah, motion blur never looks good. Mo anyway. Mo sure. It depends on like how the it, it depends on the game because like there are certain like fighting games that use motion blur that make it look really good, but this is not that. Yeah, I think Dragon Ball Fighters uses motion blur. I think so. Uh, I think so. I I think Sonic Frontiers did, but I could just be getting that mixed up with the 4K thing that cuts the frame rate in half. Oh, yeah, you could. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, I can believe it if they did something like the portraits or whatever. That's a support thing? Yeah, that, I, I, I would, yeah, okay, I would, maybe the u- Okay, maybe like the user interface or something like that? Like that, I could understand. Like, I don't think Arc System works. Like fucking... Money is money. If they get paid for it, then you know. Oh, well <laughs> I'm back here. So basically, the context is she asks, I "Okay, so my past. <laughs> I can't escape my past." <laughs> it hurts just thinking about it. <laughs> By the way, this is the equivalent of a persona transformation in this game. I want someone to understand my pain. <laughs> Watch this. This is this is how the game lets you trans lets you transform. Welcome to the mad Welcome to the madhouse, Andrew. Uh, so this was going insane because of a bad anime game. Wasn't that great animation? Wasn't that as like a stunning transformation? Just what? 10 out of 10 IGN! No transformation anime you need. Fucking god. Yeah, that's top. This is like 5 seconds of research, but it looks like Arc System Works just published the game like in one region. Okay. Which was 
Okay, oh, there's a, walls attacks, dude. We got the point. This is the tutorial. Here's all the controls. Have fun. Tutorial fight. Tutorial fight. Aria, support the Yoroshiku. You, you have to go. Your ass. Take out your mana step. Good news. <sighs> I'm in the car. Huh. Eat your stuff. So, did you like that, boys and girls? Because guess what's next up? <sighs> oh, God. Okay, I think we get it now. Yeah. Fucking let's stop it. Let's stop it. I, I'm 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 yeah. deleting this shit as soon as possible. I fucking hate this game. I, I'm sorry to the people working on it, but it just looks like fuck. It is horrendous to play, like dear god. PS4. PS4. Tw released in fucking 2019.